Hey everyone, so in this video is going to be basically the first challenge in my new course, React Beginner Challenges. And in this lecture, really, it's all about an intro to debugging React apps. So I show you a bunch of different techniques and tools that I use to search for files, put breakpoints in, check out some code, and see what's going on in my app. And I think it's a really helpful lecture to just get you started if you don't know how to debug React apps. So I hope you like it, and check out the full course in the description. Thanks. All right, so for this first challenge, I'm going to show you how to debug this issue. Now, as you can see here, we're typing in some text, we get this invalid password message, and we type some, uh, we backspace and it goes away. So what can we do to figure out how to get the right password? Well, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna wanna find the code that's causing this issue, right? So we wanna find that code and we wanna read that code so that we can understand what's going on in the browser. And then after knowing that, we can debug the issue. So the first thing we wanna do is we're gonna open up this Chrome DevTools here. So this is gonna be so useful throughout all of these challenges because we can read the code through this, we could put breakpoints and inspect certain data, and all this is gonna be super useful. So as you can see here, first we go into the console and we see not much, right? We refresh the page again, and we don't see much here in the console. So there's not gonna be any errors here that are gonna help us to find what's going on. But what we can do is we can go here and we could just try and find the files that are causing this issue, right? Or that are preventing us from entering in to the app and see what's going on there. And now there's a lot of ways to do this. So I'm gonna show you a couple different ways to do this. First, if you go to the more tools section here, if we go up here and we go here to the bottom. Now, if I do this, this is probably what you're seeing. So you see, we have this console here, right? Now, if you do control shift F, you can also go in here and find the search option. So now what this is doing is it allows us to search the files for certain text or elements or anything, right? Certain code that is going to appear in our app. So we have here some text that says, what's the password? So I'm gonna use that, that's gonna be my clue. So I'm gonna search the code base for that text. So I say, what's the password, question mark, and I hit enter. Now this is going to bring up, just like that, the files that have that code. So as you can see here, we have an app.js and we have an app.js with a source map. So if I click on the first one, this is going to be the minified code. So this isn't gonna be super helpful to debug because it's minified code. But if we go here, we see that source map, we click on that. And then now we could see we have the React JSX source map here to that code. And as you could see here, we have what's the password right there. Now, if I go back, as you could see, if I click on it, it, op it highlights that line for me. So that's really useful because it just drills down exactly into where that element is. Now, obviously, if you have some more vague text, like if I type in submit, maybe that'll show up in a bunch of other files and this might not be exactly how to get that file or that element. So there's other things you can do. For example, in the React DevTools, if I go here to my React Dev Tools, which we'll show, we'll talk about more in detail, you can see here that we have an app element, we have an app component. So we click on that, and then what you could do, which is really cool, is you can actually see the source of that file. So you could see the source, where that file is coming from, or where that code is coming from, that component is rendered. And then if you go here to this view source for this element, you click on that, and you could see just like that, the exact component that's being rendered. So this is our app right here. So it, it allowed you to see the elements, the React components on the page, and then it allowed you to drill down into exactly where that component was being rendered here. So this is really cool. So that was how we were able to find where that issue is happening in our app. Now let's actually go in and find why this issue is happening. So as you can see here, the issue happens really when we click submit, right? So what I like to do is find the event handlers for that. So as you can see here, we have a submit button. It's pretty obvious, right? It says submit. And then we have an on click here and that says submit. So we say, well, what's submit? We could double click on that and it'll show us the function right here. So we double click on that text and it's gonna highlight that up, that for us right here. We can also search for submit if we want to. We could search for submit and hit enter a few times and then that'll show us where that is defined. Now, if we click or we go up here, we could see this is where the submit function is defined. So now what we're gonna do 
is we're going to actually start to debug more into this function. So we have this kind of function here that's going to, this is going to be our focal point, right? So as you can see here, we have that invalid password message, right? So we, we're reading this, we see it looks like there's some kind of comparison for the password. And then we have a error that's being set. And then we have a win condition after that. So we've read the, the submit function, we're understanding what's going on, but that doesn't really help us to figure out how to get past it, right? Because we have this secret password right here. So in order to figure this out, what we can do is we can, so now we have this here. Once you read this line, you should be able to, if you've gotten this far, hopefully you were able to figure out what to do from here. If you haven't, there's a couple of ways we could do that. So, you know, you could read this, you could see, okay, this data is coming from .data, data.js. So we can find that file, or what we could do is even quicker, we could just put a breakpoint here, and then we can hit our submit button. And then just like that, we can hover over data and see what the secret password is. And the secret password says coconuts. So that is the secret password. So we've debugged this issue. Now, if we go here to password, you can see that we have no text in there. So this is a currently typed in string. And so there we go. So we, uh, we've read the expression here. We say, if the password is not equal to the secret password, do this. So it returns out of this function. Else it will set the win condition. So based on this, I've been able to debug this issue. I can hit continue here to continue along on the code. Now I know what the password is. If I go and I type that password in and then I hit submit, I win. So just like that, we were able to debug an issue the future challenges will be doing more in terms of actually fixing code and writing code. But this was a fun challenge just to get you to start using the Chrome dev tools and inspecting code. Now, what we're going to talk about more is our strategy guide here. So our strategy guide is going to help us to debug issues like this in the future. And as you can see, I did use this uh, strategy guide quite frequently throughout this specific solution as well. So as you could see, I, I made sure I confirmed that issue. I gathered some clues about where that code was. So I found where the code was. And then I, I isolated what files and code are causing that issue using the React Dev Tools as well as the search in the uh, Chrome Dev Tools console. I did not see any error thrown, but I did inspect some DOM elements and I searched for some files. So we found that where it was happening, and then we determined why it was happening by setting breakpoints and examining state. So like I said, we're going to be using this throughout the course, and I hope that was helpful for our first challenge. So that's going to be it for this first challenge. Thanks. Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed that video. You can get the full strategy guide in my course, and in addition to all other 24 challenges. So yeah, check it out in the description. And if you like this video, like and subscribe to my channel. Thanks.